XT, and that's great. So that was what MC did. Uh, we are 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. So the next one who wins gets to the semi-finals. What do you think, chat? Who is going to win, RMC or JV? Let's go. Are you ready, Sekinox? <laughs> I'm born ready, bro. But yeah, Let's I mean, JV over there defeated himself. Let's see what positioning he'll come up with this time. Okay, let's go to the game. Uh, yeah, same teams. Now, okay. JV puts the Hoto on the back <laughs> again. <laughs> Alright, so Hoto to the back. Any text from RMZ here? So he's gonna start with a little piece. Pretty nice. Vulnerable. And Risky Fish. Slaps. Let's go. Confident to the back. Alright, so pretty uh, normal turn so far. JB here drawing the Nemo. Not the best. Not the best. He'll have love to see two Nemo years. But he's gonna get the one with the cleanse. And play an attack here on the back. Okay, so decent turn. Got the ramp a bit. Fortunately, didn't get to four. But got to remove the vulnerable, which is nice. So Ramsey here, pretty nice draw again, Nemo. And look at that Sleepless, I think he is going to dispel the bubble on the back. Another dispel for him too. So all his targetables Ooh. right now have Black Sage to dispel the bubbles. Yep, so JB, you know, now that he's moved to the back, is vulnerable to the dispels. Mm -hmm. Energy burst here, still really nice. Anemone just hitting the front. I, I don't like that. I would have loved if he actually went for a clear and tried to ramp more. I'm not sure whether, like, that attack does nothing, right? He should have went for more shields, but no. So Ramsey here actually raging with the little piece. Goldfish gonna give him enough shards for Cottontail. Inkling, not too sure about the Inkling. Did not dispel anything, but he just wants to hit the back, I guess. And okay, fine. The Ronin kills the front anyway. So are we gonna Cottontail here for the Tiny Dino? No, we are gonna save it oh, for no. another round of Rage. Mm -hmm. Alright, so JB here. Yep, Nemo here. We are gonna get the shield. Shield the front again. Sponge, four bubbles. This time, you know, he got dispelled. So it's a bit underwhelming right now. And he's probably going to keep the cards and hold them for next turn. Alright, so over here, Cactus taunting up the middle, protecting the back line. This is quite a big turn too, I think. There is Cottontail potential. Little Branch hitting for quite a lot of damage. Cottontail again. And Sleepless. Just hitting the back again. He, he just wants to damage the back right now. <laughs> nah, that's amazing. Black Sage is like a counter to a sponge right now. He's dispelling all the, the bubbles. So that's that's good to know uh, that we have charms that could Ooh, uh, no. be against S that. Still seven though. Ooh, still seven though. Still seven though. Wait, he shielded? Huh, interesting. Why would you not clear there though? To like get something nicer. I think JB is playing a bit too defensive. Like, like he should be. Yeah, and now the rage is coming. Is this a double kill though? The backline is vulnerable too. If you notice, Dino two to four. Mm -hmm. One more attack. I think. I think the backline is dead. Is Ronin? Is Ronin right now? Bam. GG. Oh yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh ah uh, man. I mean, despite. Yeah. Okay. First off, congrats to RMZ for winning. Good job. Mm -hmm. SEA, but I just feel a bit sad because I think J JB could have played a lot better. I think there were quite a few misplays here and there. Yeah, Chad is saying how Hoto got dispelled and became useless, but I think if he took the correct lines, he would have still been in a really, really good spot. So yeah, I mean, ultimately, these teams that we are looking at are not completely refined, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's just a good indicator of how strong a comp can be and what the counters are. There are many things to do in the origins. Yeah, you know, you just have to adjust your comp accordingly, like how these players did, right? JB changed yeah. up his mid and front, the positioning. It was always different every game, trying to, you know, mess with RMZ. But RMZ <laughs> at the end stuck to his Black Sages and managed to pull ahead. 3 2, really, really close game. Yeah, I like it very much this this round. It was super excited. Um, lo look at this. So, you know that JB plays defensively, right? So, you were saying that he could have used the clear so he can get, get better cards and maybe things could change. But RMC did a great job with Black Sage. Black Sage is the answer for obviously all the bubbles to dispel. Uh, and yeah, I, I learned a lot today how we can counter this sponge because on season five, I think we're going to see it a lot. 
at least uh, the, uh, when the epic era begins or the mystic era also. Yeah, JB has done great. Uh, congrats to him to come to the quarterfinals. Congrats to, to the great JB and Aremsi, of course. Wow, your team is, is looking good. You don't have the best Axie pools, maybe, but you're doing the best wow, with what you got. So that's incredible. So congrats again. Oof, who we, do we have next? Who do we have next? Do we know the brackets right now? So we can choose the next match of this. So um, I think we decided earlier on that we are going to watch Dehi, right? We are going to watch Dehi versus Yuka. Yuka is the guy with the really, really strong Poison team right now at the moment. I think he had a really good draft. Yeah, and we'll see if Dehi, you know, one of the best players in the world, will he be able to deal with the Poison comp. So yeah, okay. I think we are. That's our next series. Yeah, let's go see that. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Um, we're going, but first we're going Nerly versus Sonle. Okay, we're going Nerly versus Sonle. We haven't seen them oh. in action right now. So it will be great, at least, to see it once, right? Nerly versus Sonle, two from the Spanish community, we haven't seen them. Let's find out their axes, because this is going to be intense. And look at that, Nerly has two poison, has like a beast rage, Sonle has three poisons, two aquas, one beast. I think Sonle has win this raffle, it's like three poisons and Nerly only two. What do you think about this? Mm, yeah, so nearly doesn't. <laughs> okay. He has a nearly done poison. Not really there. Nearly. <laughs> but yeah, so that's really sad for him. Whereas Sun Lee has like a really, really good poison comp, as what I can see. Triple Katara Mouth, two Reptile Bodies, which I can see Regenerator and Glare, most likely, with maybe Gloomy Dice on the Dusk, and an Aggro Backdoor. Aquacom with Cottontail, so I think Sonny's draft is actually really, really strong. Whereas nearly, uh, he does have Cattail, which is pretty cool. I'm not too sure about that Sumo there. Sumo looking cute, but I'm not sure how he can fit into any of the comms. So looking a bit tough on nearly, I think he is probably gonna... I think he'll have to improvise. I think he's still playing Poison probably, but he has to improvise a bit, right? He has to run like a Plant Front or something like that, which we'll see. Or maybe he plays Poisons and Rage. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so many options right here. Let me uh one one thing is that Nerly and Sonly are from the same guild, Puru Gaming. So they're both partners and they have been doing great things like Fury Crafting, both of them. So Sonly Nerly from Kuru team is the next match. We are ready. So let's get into it. Which teams they choose? Let, let's find out. Let's go to the game. And look, uh, some Pechonidas, I think, is Sonle. And Axie Draft is Nerly, I think. Because I'm a little bit confused. Let, let me find out. But yeah, one aggro team, two plants on the right, more aggro on the left from some Pechonidas. And because of the Axie, I think we can get who is who, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so Sun Lee is the one on the left. I'm surprised he didn't play poison, but wow, nearly. I think he was trying to catch the poison. Look at what he's playing on the back. He's playing Rise and Ruin. So I think that's pretty interesting. So he does get a cleanse there. The Red Sage is actually catching him for his rough, which is really interesting. And he's just using the rage for energy. Yeah. So so for those that are confused by um Nearly's comp, he's basically just playing Rise and Ruin. But he's using the EA as a way to gain energy. It's not really about doing much damage, I think. Yep. So the focus mm. is on really cleansing. So yeah, pretty interesting. Like I said, he will have to improvise. And I like this improvisation. It's pretty cool. Uh, Confident also cleanses. So I think that fetches him a forest raft too, if I'm not wrong. Which is really nice to see. That's always going to happen next turn. So yeah. Does manage to kill the front line. Solis come... Not looking really strong, but let's see if his rage turn will be good. He does have a lot of moon stems, so he's actually going to that. But however, you know, that was Todd, so the moon stems not exactly working right now. However, this Kuku Pirania, ooh, ooh, ooh. hot, great, ooh, that was that pain, that was pain, ooh, that was hot, that was hot, that was hot. However, the forest rough actually still stays in hand, so that's pretty interesting. This turn, 
it's gonna be a cotton deal Ronin turn. Let's see how big it will be. Confident, eight rage, executes to start off. I think that beast is dead without even raging right now. So yeah, we can do a pocky, bam, bam. And then maybe Ronin and another Ronin from the back. Yep, that's it. Yeah, Oof. that's great. I have the forest rat. Okay, he, he used it. Now it's asleep. asleep. <laughs> oh my god. That's cute. That's actually cute. All right. So, what? oh, okay. The clear though. Okay, the clear mm -hmm. is good. The clear is good. So, Koi Moonstem doing a lot of damage. 160. What? 170 damage total. Blue Moon draws a card. Probably retain it so it has a cleaner rotation next draw. However, we are entering Rage over here with a 100 damage tiny dino. What else we draw? Draws Ronin. I think that's enough. Yep. Little piece. Use the forest rough. Yep. That's GG. That's definitely yeah, enough. GG. Yep. 84 100%. damage. And bam. 252. Nice wow. calm. Good. Good. Good way. Good. And very interesting. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Nerdy. I like it a lot. Respect. Respect. Yeah, 100%. So Nerly wins the first match against Sonle. Uh, interesting because this reminds me to Season 1, right? That plant, the rage, everything. Season 1 of Axie Origins. And that, that's good. Uh, we're seeing like bad get Axis into the action on this amazing tournament. So, uh, friends, thank you again for being here. Uh, we are right now on the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. And we're going to see who will win uh, this Axie Invitational of Season. Okay, so do you think uh, one of them is going to change composition? Maybe it's only that he has lost. He has another good choice or it was the best team that he has? So I think um, on nearly side, he did demonstrate a comp that can beat poisons. As we saw, you know, Rise and Ruin. Really, really strong card. Um, they buffed Rise and Ruin the whole Forest cleanse is zero cost now. You can sleep in the XE and cleanse your whole team for zero cost, which is pretty strong. So he actually planned out, I think, a way to beat both comms that Son Lee can come up with. So I oh, think Son Lee wow. is Son Lee's turn to be like creative. He has to think of something that can actually deal with that. So maybe he has to stick with his current um, aggressive comp. Maybe adjust a bit of cards here and there. But I like what Nearly has come up with. That he basically he came up with something that has a chance against both. So he doesn't really have to adjust too many things and he can just keep playing the comp and it should work out for him. Yep. Perfect. So let's jump into game number two. Sonle versus Nel. So let's find out. And yeah, now it's on the left side. Our friend Nerly, Sonle is on the right. And he's using again the double aqua and a beast. Be very nice. Uh, Sandal, it could work because of the vulnerable if he puts it first and it will hit very, very hard. On this season 5, Sandal, it's, it's a good card. But now, Sonle is ha angry and he is playing everything that he got. He's putting Blitz to the back Axie. He's going, he's going backdoor. He's going backdoor on this time. Yeah, he actually has so many Sun Stems. <laughs> Even the Ronin has Sun Stem. Yep. <laughs> So over here, he's going to cleanse with that zero cost and get a forest rough pretty nice. And then we are going to see exit kiss into little peas. So I think Son Lee's front is about to die next turn most likely. That sleep is really annoying though. So but however, luckily for him, Son Lee does not draw any really like real cards on the back. So he can actually still use up all his energies. So really nice. Ooh, that dual blade that he could have retained. But ooh, he prefers ooh. not to. Oh, the sandal, bro. I told you, the sandal, <laughs> it's very good. I like that. 234 damage. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Looking pretty hot. So let's see what Sonny can do here. Uh, He's still going to the back. However, I don't think it's all that important. His Axie is not raging at all. And I don't think it will get to rage this game again. There's no way for him to rage it. Oh, no. Not good. Yep. Here we go, nearly raging here once again Ooh. with a really full set of cards on their backliner mm -hmm. right now. We're gonna start with the Axie Kiss. So much damage, so much damage. We're gonna do the Pocky. He wants to use the cards on the front for energy maybe. Wow. And one more attack. Fail. No, the Death Mark, the Death Mark will the kill Death it. Mark is going to kill. Yep. So end up with the Ronin. This should be 250, 60-ish. 254. Okay, I'm right. I'm almost there. 
But yeah, that is a lot of damage onto that Aqua, and I don't think this Aqua can catch it. Yep. And that's GG. Yeah. Fast two games for nearly just taking down Sunly with this really well thought out comp. You know, he's not scared of poison. He's fast enough to deal with this comp because he can actually rage. The confidence, yeah. the rage masks. He's always raging before the other guy. So, yep, well deserved. Well deserved. 2 0 up mm -hmm. so far. Will Sonny be able to catch it back? He has to wow. come up with something different. He has mm -hmm. to come up with something different. This right now is. He's not cutting it. He's not raging in time. He's not defending. He's not doing enough damage. He's just not doing anything at the moment. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Nerly, I think he's my fa favorite player to win this invitational. Has a very, very good team. Because the, the other one that is super strong is Poison. But as you said, this team can beat Poison. So Nerly has the power right now. And again, maybe we can see a sweep right now. Nerly uh, only has to win one more time. Suddenly haven't changed team, haven't changed so much, only some, some stamps, I have put some rooms, some charms, but yeah. Let's find out very quickly on game number three, Sonle versus Nerly in this off-season invitational. And Sonle goes with Poison. Let's, let's find out how it goes with this, um, our friend Nerly, super aggressive team. Mm -hmm. Yep, so uh, Sonly decided to just, you know, go back to Poisons, right? Uh, with the Gloomy Dice, maybe it's good enough, right? Because the Cleanse might hit the Fears and Hexes instead. So that's cool. So maybe Poison stands a better chance. I mean, Poison, as we know, is really strong. The Runes and Charms, really, really great. So let's see what happens here. Gonna start with a Wall Gecko, you know, defend a bit. Glove Green Taunts, really nice. And another Gecko just to heal up everything. So generally slow start, like you know, just chilling. Poison likes to chill at the early parts of the game. And yeah. So let's see. Exe kiss. Nice attack. Placing debuffs. And then Nian placing more debuffs on the middle. That's really nice. Just gonna let the cards rotate. And he's most likely gonna rage next turn. Fortunately, he does not get confused on his beast, right? As for Sunny, mm -hmm. you know, he's just chilling, still putting more poison actually going for the Gila here. I'm not too sure about the Gila. I would have loved to see some shields, I think. Because the longer your pre-story stays alive, the more value you get out of it. However, here, uh, we see nearly. Gonna rage here. Cleansed a bit. Tiny Dino, Ronin, and that is a dead front. Yeah. I'm not sure if the shield would have saved it, but maybe not. However, here, as you can see, you know, the speed of the comp of nearly is actually just so fast. Yeah. Like the, this poison is not putting out enough poisons at the moment. However, here, mm. nice debuffs. Uh, wrong order. Yeah, that was a misorder. You kind of want to play the one from the dusk first, so that your glare does a bit more damage. However, as I say, he's slow. Suddenly, everything is red. <laughs> wow. Exactly. Okay. So yeah, Pocky over here. He did redraw the tiny dino, which is nice. Uh, however, he's going for a wow. Wow, and then with Ronin, I think, he's gonna keep the Tiny Dino for the Rage. He's actually gonna Rage a second time. I think nearly he's gonna Rage a second time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, bro. Um, Look at this, no poison for, for Sonly right now, only some shield. And it doesn't matter because uh, he's going to Rage with a rune. So that's it. Um, 133 of shield. Yeah, he has the cards. Uh, he oh, can pure start. damage. Ooh. Almost well, he killed with the second one. That's pure amazing. damage, pure damage. Incredible, Photoshop doing pure damage. Ronin, is this Ronin? I think it's enough. 256, 254. Yep, 3 0 swift. Clean, amazing, pure damage, wow. guys. Rise and ruin, rise and rise ruin. And doing ruin. It. Yeah, I hate that card actually. I have faced race and ruin, and that wraith is like very annoying and it's pure damage, so that's crazy. It's a 3-0 sweep and uh, nearly goes to the semi-finals. Congrats to him and congrats to Sonle also. He was doing um, his best. He has with what he got, right? That was their Axie Pulse. And yeah, I like very much. I think nearly has a very big chance to go to the finals. 100%. Yep, yep, yep. So I think a uh, very well deserved win. Um, I think Sonly could have played a bit better there. I think if he noticed or if he realized, you know, that the Rise and Rain card gives 
does pure damage, you have been able to, you know, shield up the other Axie instead. Yeah. So, so I, I, I mean, it was a good call. Yeah, you know, maybe he was taking a risk too. I don't know. Maybe there was actually no risk at all for nearly, but well-deserved win. Three new sweep. Re really nice, you know, showcasing a comp that maybe other drafters did not see. And, and yeah, looking forward to Ooh. their progress. And now we are actually down to top four. Shall we take a look who yeah. are the remaining four players? Yeah, so we're going to the semi-finals. Uh, yeah, we have four four players. One of them, of course, is at MC against Big Gabby because Big Gabby has won to Ali G 3-0. Okay, 3-0. So Big Gabby is on the semi-finals against at MC and the other one is Dihai versus Nerly. So I think that we might see first at MC versus Big Gabby. That will be good. I didn't see with the Big Gabby uh, next on the semifinals. Both of the two players, you met them in person, right? The two yeah. of them. Yeah, I, I think I've met everyone in person. No, I have. It was nearly at Xicon. I'm not sure, but like Dehi, Ramsey, Big Gabby, yeah, all these are players that I have met before. Uh, talk to them almost every day, right? I mean, the scene mm -hmm. is pretty small. So yeah, I think it'll be a cool, cool match, right? Based on, I mean, it's a draft tournament, but let's see what they can cook up with. For what I remember, a Ramsey has owls, a Ramsey has like aggressive comps, um, Gabby has a bubble comp. So yeah, surprisingly, wait, do we actually not have poisons at the end? Mm -hmm. the poisons didn't make it because they he beat Yuka 3-2, three, three, right? Yeah, that's right. Ah, ah, maybe Poison is not as strong as you think, guys. Maybe. Mm. Mm. But, but yes. Yeah, I mean, actually, it's for surprises, mm -hmm. guys. There's so many cons that's going to be viable in this thing. I'm actually so excited. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not the only one. Because, you know, now that Toka is dead. Yeah, yeah. There's so many other teams that can be played. It's going to be a really exciting season coming up. Exactly, and especially the Square Thief. A Square Thief, for me, this is my personal opinion, was the strongest card on Season 4. Yes. It, it has a lot of value in a lot of composition, not only Topaz. On Jinx, also, you can put a, a garbage card on your opponent there for free, doing damage. It was crazy, Square Thief. Right now, it's balanced. I, I liked what that yep. team has done. So, this is the bracket. Arensi, Big Gabi, Sonle, Dihai. Um, I think uh, it's not Sonle, it's Nerly that has uh, got oh, the Oh, nearly, yeah, it's nearly. Yep. nearly yeah. Yeah, there um, we go. At MC versus Big Gabby, we're going to see next, okay? We're going to see next. Mm, I think Sekinox that on the finals, because right now semi-finals, on the finals we're going to see a Sponge versus a uh, Rage team, like a uh, very aggressive team. That will be the final because all the players has a sponge, has a beast, so that will be. At MC, I don't think it's going to do use that triple little low because it's not that like the best um, little O that class is not the best. But yeah, um, Big Gabby doing the sponge is going to be awesome, and um, At MC could face him with his aggressive composition um, on this time. So, well, uh, if you're ready. Um, I think we're going to to enjoy this next match. Yep, uh, it's bad. I I mean, it's a Southeast Asia battle over here, right? The remaining two, the only two players, no, the remaining two Southeast Asian players, right? Fighting it out to earn a spot in the finals. Yeah, I think both sides have really decent comps. I mean, Bubbles is looking like the one to beat at the moment, but Ramsey has shown that he knows how to beat the bubble comp, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see if Gabby will be able to overcome it and you know, it's gonna be a lot of mind games. I mean, both sides know, I think, both players know what uh, themes they are gonna play, like each other is going to play. But it just depends on the rules and charms that they choose to go for, yep. Yeah, that's right. With the Black Sage um, charms that like, he can counter a little bit the, the sponge, it's great. So let's find out. Uh, I would love to see that, that RMC is doing like aggressive team versus a sponge of Big Gabby. Let's go to game number one, Big Gabby versus RMC. So what you got? Okay, RMC, I think that he has the, 
the Black Sage on his axis, maybe he does, but Big Gab is using the sponge, of course, and with last stand on the front axis and hot on the back. Yeah, so we have last wish, uh, and energy shard and Hoto. So Hoto on the back, uh, might be a bit scary for. I'm not sure if he checked the runes and charms on the Ramsey side, but over here still a pretty good start for Gabby getting the Nemo's out. The sponge of so I think, okay, Goldfish going to the front, get some good shards. Actually gonna keep the Ronin. Decides not to actually attack. Interesting play, but here we are definitely gonna see a ramp. Probably Nemo. We clear first, okay, that's pretty okay, and there we go, the double Nemo looking really good. And we wow. Nemo, and then we ramp again, nice. Four energy, just like that. So many energy fragments from one Nemo only, that's yes. crazy. <laughs> yep, so a Ramsey side, he's not drawing any of the dispels, he's actually still keeping cards. That's a lot of cards in his hand, I'm not sure if he can dump everything next turn. But over here, Gabby, you know, just gotta keep trying to set up. Getting to two bubbles, Nemo, and then we can sponge on the back. Get to six bubbles, probably. No, five bubbles first. But yeah, looking pretty nicely here. Sponge and and, and attack. Yeah, from the front. The front's gonna die most likely to anyway. So let's see. Aramzi is gonna rage here, probably. Does he draw the rage? He does. Gonna start with the confident. Putting the back line to rage. Sleepless. This hitting the front, okay, just to put the vulnerable. Axe kiss. One more attack should kill it. Yep, Dino. 204 damage killing the front, but the last switch, look at the last switch, giving so much shield. However, this Ronin is really, really big. How much is this? 300 Ooh. damage? 342. Wow, almost enough. Actually, almost enough. That was such a good turn for RMZ, but however, Gabby still having a lot of bubbles on the back line. Oh, he okay, did not six. sponge there. He actually did not sponge. Alright, so Nemo energy burst. He's actually on 5 energy now, Muke. 5 energy. He's on That's 5. Incredible. <laughs> He's Amazing. actually on 5. However, here, little P sitting in the front. He did draw the Black Sage Inkling, though. He's gonna dispel the 3 bubbles on the back. Ooh, that is actually really scary. However, does he kill the middle here? He does not. So, that actually sees one more turn over here. Alright, 5 energy, let's see what he can do. Alright, so one sponge here, another sponge, 9 bubbles, and bam. Oh no! That Ooh. is enough to kill the middle, and wow, look at that backliner, almost dead. So the Black Sage dead, actually not even doing enough right now. Mm -hmm. Will he be able to clutch it here? He's actually not gonna rage, and I don't think that's enough damage at all. However, wow, 15 damage exactly, so Tiny Dino and Ronin. He's just gonna push as hard as he can, but he's actually a bit off. Yeah, and not enough. the show star. Yep, the show star is gonna end the game here. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, one sword, that was show star. Round five. Round five, five energy, guys. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy how it can escalate so quickly. The energy fragments for one Nemo, it's, it's crazy. He has like in his second turn like four energies. It's it's awesome. So Sponge wins here, uh, and yeah, well, we're seeing exciting times. Two pro players that are making the best decisions right now. The white Sage, as you told, the black Sage, he dispelled some bombs, but was some bows, but he was not enough, right? So. Right now, we have this match super exciting between these two players from South, South, uh, South East uh, Asia or South Asia? Yeah, South East Asia, yeah. South East Asia, so that's, that's great. I like very much, I have seen on so many tournaments on the leaderboard sometimes. So let's go to game number two to find out if they change teams or it's the same, a sponge versus an aggressive team. All right, so Gabby running it back, back to the sponge. Uh, actually has a bloodlust in the middle now instead of the energy shard so that's pretty interesting however this ooh this draw looking really nice we are gonna clear first and then probably Nemo are oh, we gonna clear again all right Nemo fetch the Nemo here and then clear again maybe no go he's, he's, he's not he's not going for it he's just gonna attack here choosing not to risk as for a Ramsey, what does he draw? Draws the Nemo, just a nice little buff on the back line. And the Black Stage dispelling three bubbles over there. Wow, that's actually huge. 
Yup, and the X hitting the back. Ooh, ooh, that's so much damage. Yeah, the, it was a very good turn for Marenzi so early on his second turn. We are seeing now Big Gabi that he maybe can ramp to more energies, but no. Ah, oh, he's one like, off. One yeah, no. off. Wait, no, he could have went to next. Wow, that was on display. His clear has the octopus on it. So if he played the clear, he actually have, have energy busted. Yeah. Yeah, he has that's the true. Octopus on it. Yeah, yeah, he actually misled over there. I mean, just Big Gabby things. What can you do? But it's okay, let's see what he can do from this point. The back line is actually already on 83 health. That is so, so scary actually. We are gonna go for a sponge here. And right, draw another Nemo, ramp again. Seems like the game plan for Gabby is actually going to five. I, I think that looks like his game plan. Over here, Ramsey's gonna rage. 302 on that little branch. That is so much damage. And then one card should do it here, a little piece. And then we are gonna counter tail into Ronin. This Ronin should do around 200, 285. Yep. So yeah, pretty good turn for a Ramsey. However, is he able to close out the game next turn? Because Gabby here is going to get a lot of bubbles. So is he gonna do double sponge? Just a single sponge. Still pretty nice. Actually, just gonna attack here. The beast is dead. And one more attack. Nice. So close, actually. These two comps are so fast. Mm -hmm. Both sides are just throwing cards out so quickly right now. This is close. All right, yeah, killing this down the back. Doesn't kill though. He's actually leaving two axes alive. Oh no. Okay, yeah. okay. He's gonna keep the sleepless. What's gonna happen here? Bad news for that MC. Now yeah, it's four turn. energy. Oh, four energy. That's a sword. Anemone, not enough. In oh, Ooh, four HP no. away. All right, but this two shields though. Yeah, I think that's a bit too much HP for a Ramsey to get past. So Sleepless is gonna hit the back. He's gonna start with Risky Fish. Where is he gonna yeah, kill? He's back. gonna go front. Oh. He's gonna go to front. Yeah, yeah, good choice because of the Bloodlust does more damage and the Bloodlust actually has more attack. However, one sword here should be able to end the game. What is Gabby gonna draw? Will he draw damage? And up, that's yeah, it. Yeah, Risky Fish. Risky yeah. Fish. Risky Fish, two swords, Ooh. for a star, GG. Wow, this GG was close. Friends. This was close. 2 0 to Gabby right now. So close, these two comes. Everything is just happening so quickly, guys. Mm -hmm. It's just card after card after card. I hit you, I shield up, I ramp, I build bubbles, I rage. Damn. Yeah, I like very much this because it was so, so close. Very, very close. So at MC, shout out to him because he's doing a magnificent job with the access that he, had, he got. Um, yeah, Big Gabi has the sponge very, very optimized. Well, but with the best runes and charms that he can get that axis. Um, the Black Sage is working, is working. Maybe, I don't know, he can... If he can rush to kill the back axe, has enough cards that go to the back axe, maybe he can put a Sun Stamp in another attack card at MC to rush this, or, or something like that, right? Maybe some surprises on the next match. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see if there's any adjustment, but... Without further ado, let's go into game 3. RMZ is on his last life. Let's see if he can come up with anything to save himself. Alright, so rocket stamps are coming out right now as we saw RMZ with a rocket stamp on the little piece going to the back immediately. Over here, Gabby with a nice starting draw here with the Nemo here. And then the Nemo tail, we're gonna fetch it back again. Yep, really, really nice to look at that. Hitting 9 energy shots already. So yeah, just rocket yeah. stamps all over the place. Dino has rocket stamp. <laughs> I believe that's about it. Not a lot of things you can rocket stamp, but maybe it's just enough. Choosing to go for Belieber here, doing some damage to the front, and Cactus just to gain a leaf. Nothing much over there. Yep, we're just chilling over here. Gabby, why is he gonna draw here? Wow! Ooh, no. Look at that draw. So yummy over now. Oh, so yummy right now. Yep, so yummy right now. 
keeping the Nemo 2 and just like that, next turn mm -hmm. he's on 4 energy. It's ramping even faster than your sustained comms, guys. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so a Ramsey here, yep, trying to rage now. Hitting the front. Um, Yeah, overall, that's a really slow turn. Ops to not keep the little branch. Let's see what Gabby can do here. Alright, so gaining one bubble with the Nemo. Sponge for sure, build some bubbles, and probably an attack from the front. We're actually gonna clear, and actually going for another ramp. Okay. Yep, more so... ramp. Oh, wow. He's gonna yeah. actually hit 5 energy again. Yeah, but here we go. A Ramsey. Wait, he didn't get to rage. I think it's because he's running rocket stamps, so he's like one drink lesser now. So he's not getting to rage. However, a Ramsey here is just trying to hit the back. Oh no, no, he does have the charm. Okay, he's raging. Is that enough to kill the back with the tiny dino rocket stamp? It's enough. What a good kill. What a good kill. And yep, that's game over. As we yep. A Ramsey. Yeah, that was the answer. Found it, it, found it. the stamp. Yeah, rocket <laughs> the stamps or sun, sun stamps. It's, it's going after the back axe, but maybe now we're going to see that Big Gabby changed positions and the Hoto is in the middle, but it doesn't make any um, difference because rocket stamp can go to any axis. So it was the answer. RMC always find out how, how to make a solution to a problem. So very, very good for him. Uh, this match was very... Not, not close, it was from all RMC. If you kill the Horo Axi, that the game is for you, so that's why he's rendered. And yeah, I, I do you think it's going to. Maybe it's going to. It's not. Uh, how do you say? Like. Adjust? Recover so fast. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, going, yeah. He's going okay, to recover. So, what I think, basically, um, you did mention that moving to Koto to middle right is might not be good but however as we saw Aramzi does have a couple of cards that just hit the back normally right so he did have like sleepless and inkling so maybe moving to the middle the rocket stamps might not be enough but we shall see how we shall see how it works out so far the rocket stamp helped Aramzi win that game and yeah let's see if he can bring it to another game five we have a lot of game fives today will we have another yeah, one yeah. let's see let's go Let's go to the game number four and ah, look at this. Big Gabby now is on an aggro team with two beasts and an MC. I think he is still going to have the rocket stamp. Yeah, he is still going to have it. So right now it's. Ah, uh, but Gabby is playing aggro. a different comp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gabby is now on. But no, the, but the EA is still on the back. Look at that Axie melt. It's disappearing, wow. guys. It's yeah, actually rocket disappearing. Stamp works. And that yeah. doesn't have a Gatail, doesn't have like anything to to taunt. So it's in trouble Big Gabby right now. It's a lot of trouble. That's why he used Believer. Almost killed the front Axie. But what is happening guys? This is like season one all over again. Alright, but the cactus here protecting the front. Really nice, really clutch, really, really clutch. Uh, fetching a confident. And then a Ronin. Yeah, okay, okay. So this turn, Gabby may or may not rage. He is gonna rage with the little branch. And then we are probably gonna see the Ronin. So not too bad. I mean, you know, even though the backline is gonna die, but that backliner actually got a lot of value. Managed to rage, mm -hmm. right? So over here at Ramsey, confident. Exikiss. Nine stacks of rage. Not enough just yet. But with the Rocket Stand Risky Fish, we'll be able to get rid of the backliner. And then a Cotton Tail. Mm-hmm. Believer, does this Believer kill? I think it's close. It might kill. Ooh, Ooh yeah. tree of damage. H. Wow, that was so close. Yeah, I think I think this is 2-2. We're actually gonna go game 5 most likely. Mm -hmm. This is still a pretty good kill, but a Ramsey is on 8 rage stacks with 120 damage tiny dino. I mean, don't get me wrong, that is the rocket stem on it, which is gonna make it a bit smaller. But I struggle to see how Gabby will be able to kill this Axie next turn anyway. So yeah, we are gonna go little piece. The branch is one rage off. Yeah, so not enough just yet. But 400 HP right now. I don't think there is any way to kill this Axie. Nah. Yep. Just all, all over. Yep, just swords. 
Gabby being a swordsman for this game. Swords, more swords. Yep, and not gonna play an inner lamp too. Just want to make sure he plays it. Okay, he plays it, sure. Getting that one extra rage stack though, taking more damage. Here, Ramsey with the dino itself. Yep, oh, that's, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So much damage. 2-2. Two, two. Wow, Damn. Ramsey. Wow, congrats, Ramsey. Nice play. Very, hanging very nice. On. Now he has the, the, the team that he, oh, he needed from the beginning. Now he has the team. The rocket stamps are the solution against Big Gabby right now. Uh, it doesn't matter if he uses Sponge, it doesn't matter if he uses like Agro Team. He now has the, the potential to kill his opponent uh, faster. So, very nice play uh, about at MC. It's 2 2. I like it when it's very close match. It's, it's like, not, it's not a sweep, it's 2 2. So, the next one who wins is going to the final. So, this is very, very complicated. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm learning a lot to using this composition um, on this season five because we are using the mechanics, the yep. new mechanics and the new cards and rules or charms if they have changed, right? So let's go to the final game and let's see who will win or if they change anything. So okay. all right, game five, let's go. So Gabby goes back to the bubbles. I like it. However, a Ramsey this time does. He's actually not playing the Black Sage anymore, so no more dispels. No more dispels for him. Over here. Eh, this draw's alright. It's not the worst. We're just gonna go Nemo here and then fetch a Nemo here. Might want to shield the back. We'll see. Yep, shielding the back here and then just going for an attack on the front. Mm -hmm. Yep. There are some rocket stamps though. As you can see, a Ramsey does a rocket stamp on the little piece. On the middle little piece. But he just removed the Black Sage because he's trying to just go for um, Brute Force instead. And good catch over here, you know, realizes Gabby shielded the back, decides to just go full front. Alright, yeah, so risk because... fish initial. Yeah, because he, he hit the he front, changed. right? And then he realized. Yeah, yeah, he, he changed. changed the rune of the plant. Yeah. He wants to be more aggressive, more, more damage on his axis. So I that was the little piece we rocket at the stump. He wants to go to the back axis. He's doing a massive damage. The innocent lamb is going to copy the cotton tail, I think, or the no, the cotton. Okay, or the, cotton okay, tail. Cotton tail. Yep, okay. yep. Because next turn he'll have enough shards to use the cotton tail, and he wants to make sure that he draws it. Yep. So Gabby, this game is actually a bit slower. However, here he does get to ramp to four without the energy shard, though not having that shield oh, a bit scary. Okay, so I think he still has one more energy left. Gonna use Nemo, fetch another shield, and shield the back. Yeah, we are all about keeping the backline alive here. Yep, looking like it. A shield. And then another one. And then shielding again. Ooh, the numbers are so awkward though. It's like three bubble bombs. It's taking so... It's not looking good actually. Over here, RMZ, he is gonna rage, right? He does have the confidence. Yep, here we go, Raging Beast. Little piece to the back. I think that's Tiny Dino to the back. Axie Kiss to the back. Ooh. Oh, it's not enough. It's actually oh not enough. Oh my god. No. It's actually not enough. It's actually not enough. Can he, can, can Gabby pop the bubbles now though? That's the question. I think he can. Yes, He's gonna attack he, with the back. He, he yeah. Passed, the risk Bam. Game. Oof. Mm. Okay, okay. This is getting so close. I think Gabby is in a good spot despite the backliner dying because that last wish is actually gonna do so much damage. Right? And also the Bloodlust is a really strong 1v1, Axie. Alright, so Axie kiss over here again. It's not a Put kill. Him, yeah. He should have went for Belieber. Belieber would have killed. Oh no. Okay, he's holding Bleeper for later, I guess. But this Aqua looking real scary right now. Yeah, he used the Cotton Tail for some healing. He knew that that Axe is in, is in danger. So yep. let's find out. The Giro for some damage. He's going to get the kill. He has a lot of energy right now. Yep. At the Nemoni, he can raise it also. And, and then the we next shoot. A Nemoni, it will be huge damage. But no, he prefers some shield because he was not going to be enough. So the last turn for Alex right now. Alright, he's turn. not raging. He's actually not raging. Going for the Believer. 
No, I know. That's not enough. That's not enough. Will Gabby have enough damage? Will he have enough damage to close out this game right here, right now? Only 12 one cards in deck. Card. 12 cards in deck. Drawing 6 right now. Drawing 6. Sword, sword. Yup, that's more than enough. That is yeah. 4 attacks and... Wow. What a close game. What a close Amazing. game. Wow. wow. Congrats. Big Gabby, the winner. So Big Gabby is the first finalist. Excited times. Very, very happy to see him there. A sponge doing a great job. It was a very tough match. Very, very tough match. This semi-finals. It seems like it was the final, actually, because he was very excited. So congrats uh, again to our friend um, Big Gabby. Gabby. And of course to Arenzi also, because he plays very, very well on this tournament. So congrats to both of them. Yep, good job, good job both players. Uh, yeah, just a really close series. I think we had a lot of clutch moments, very close moments. And without further ado, shall we go ahead for the next quarterfinals, which is, I think, another really, really hype match. Okay, so the next match or on these semifinals, of course, it will be D High versus Nerly. Nerly, for me, is like has the like the best team of all the tournament. So let's see how it does with D High because we haven't seen which uh, axis that have D High. Ah, D High have the Leafy team. The Leafy with Ooh. the shrimp. Okay, that's nice. Has leafy, another Leafy, leafy but but hot bat. And then the other plant, but the other plant doesn't have Leafy. Only have Papi for. No leaf, of course, has an aggressive team with the beast. And nearly we have some that he's using like a season one composition that is doing very, very good for him. So, yeah, second up, so do you think Beehive is going to use the leafy or one of the plants is not like the best one for this time? Mm, I think he might use it. Uh, it's. It's kind of sad, obviously, like one of the plants not having at least a bamboo shoot. But I mean, looking at his other axes, I don't see how the other axes can win any game. <laughs> so I, I'm just going to assume that he played Leafy all the way, right? Uh, I mean, like, even though he doesn't have the bamboo shoot on the front, he can always just play like Leaf Cloak, he can play uh, Gaius Embrace and things like that. Maybe we will see another rise and ruin. I'm not sure, but either way, yeah. I, I think it's interesting. I think Leafy is strong enough to head off. really, really, you know, still do a lot of damage. He does have the puppies, as we see. You know, puppies give leaves, right? So those will help with Leafy. As for nearly, we saw what he can come up with. You know, he has that special rise and ruin and rage comp, which I think he will probably play for the entire tournament too, in my opinion. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how strong Leafy is, even though it's not a very good version of Leafy. But I'm excited to finally see Leafy in action. Yeah, because Lehigh is on semi-finals, so that means that one of their team is very good. Uh, that's why he's here on semi-finals. Yeah. So let's find out on the first game of these semi-finals. Nerly, let's go. And yes, he's using Leafy and Ner Nerly using the team, the only team that he has used in all the tournament here. Yep, so we are gonna see... Wait, no. Nearly actually changed out something. So what he does, he's Which actually one? not playing Rise and Ruin anymore, right? He's actually playing mm. Leaf Cloak and Gaia. So he's actually going full defensive because I think he expects to see um, Leafy from Dead Heat, right? And Rise and Ruin, um, if you don't need the cleanse, you're, you're, you're fine. You don't really need to run it. So he's going both sides, you know, running a semi... I would say both sides are trying to attack and defend at the same time, right? Uh, in card game terms, we call this mid-range, right? Both both players are just playing a mid-range comp. Uh, Dehi, yeah, I mean, he has the Cotton Tail to back up his Leafy, so that's really nice. So right now, both sides, you know, they're just setting up, chilling, you know, playing cards a bit here and there, just waiting for them to be able to have these really huge burst turns. So yeah, on Dehi's turn, he's not raging yet, so this turn is still not that crazy, however, first Leafy coming out doing 100. I don't know how much was that, but that is enough. Wow, 1xe down already. So that's the bad thing about taunting against Leafy. You know, 
You make yourself vulnerable to Leafy's and over here, however, nearly got a rage. Executes to start off. Two Leafs on the Leaf Cloak. Alright. 120 damage. Not the best, not the best, but not the worst too. And gonna finish with a Ronin. Eh. Not the best. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so now it's the Chomper D high to enter rage mode. Has very good Ooh. cards. The Leafy. The Leaf is going Ooh. to do massive damage over here. And has the, also the Ronin. So Ooh. this is like KO for Ooh. that that beast. That beast is out. KO. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh good night. Oh wow. Goda. Yep. Ouch. Woo. Incredible. A lot of and damage. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly he's like, okay, I'm out. Get me out. Yeah. Yeah, he Get doesn't have out. chance. Without plan with the Gaia doesn't have any chance right now. So nice. Bihai has a very good team. He faced the best team of our friend Nerly. So I'm very excited for game number two. I think that Nerly for the poison team that he has, I, I think it's not a good option, right? Uh Leafy versus Poison, who will be the the leafy right yeah i i mean for me i think as long as the leafy player is oh, what what should i use as long as the leafy player is not careless right as long as the player leafy player is careful uh makes the correct place leafy will always win there is a certain way for leafy to almost always win poison for the players that don't know good luck figuring it out but i'm just telling you now there is a way so yeah, so I think nearly, um, you know, these two players, like I said, they are really, really good players. So they should know what are the matchups. And I don't expect to see nearly try to use poison against Leafy. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he might be forced to though. Maybe the poison is just a bit better. We'll see, we'll see. But they, he, you know, showing how strong Leafy is. Those retains, the Leafy's one energy for 150 damage. Yeah, insane. Yeah, that's right. Maybe Nelly changed some charms or some rooms on this next match. So let's get into it. Game number two, Nelly versus Dehai. Let's see what we got, my friends. So, yeah, Nelly using the same team and the ru charm rules are the same. I think, yeah, Gaia. Mm -hmm. oh, They're using the same team. Draw. Yeah, that's a bad draw. He's gonna have one energy, not doing anything. Yeah, oh, that's so sad. But yeah, I think they uh, maybe nearly just feels like he has a chance. However, let's look at this draw. Wow, look at that Leafy on the back. <laughs> Leafy go brr! Oh, wow. That was on the Leafy XE, guys, and did, that did... What? 166 damage? That's crazy. Puppy coming in here for heal. Good number of leaves on the back. It's still taunted, so he's gonna be able to tank a lot. Right? Um... And let's see what Dehi will do here. Actually gonna go for a serious initial. Be nice damage. And another... No, he's not gonna leafy yet. Because there's not enough leaves on the front. Going for the Red Sage Puppy. Really nicely done. Both sides, you know, as you can see, they want to go for a fast game. But wow, the Pocky. Is the Pocky enough here? No way. No way. It's enough. It's enough. Cottontail Ronin. Wow. I said both sides were like, you know, taking their time to set things up. And then here nearly just proves me wrong completely with a Pocky going to the middle. That's insane. Let's see if Davy can bring it back though. I mean, these two Axes are leafy Axes. They do have good damage, good healing. But wow, that, that was such a sweet kill. That kill was so good. You know, it was the Axe with EA. It was the Cottondale Axe. So nice. Yeah, before he enters in rage mode, that's very good, uh, Nerly. I think Nerly can get this this time. This time, it's like has a lot of advantage right now. Is on four stack of rage, has the tiny dino to the max damage, has a lot of things. But Dehai has the shrimp and the leafy, so this stamp. can change things. Yeah with a rocket stamp, so it's going to kill him. It's going to kill the mid axi. That's very good for him. Now it's two versus two, but one of them are leafy and the other plants are not. So we will see. This is so close actually, because I I mean, yeah, there is leafy also on the side of um nearly, right? So confident gonna remove the sleep. Hockey. Ooh, what a good kill. Yep, leafy death will kill it. 
However, this is Miracle Leaf versus Gaia and Leaf Cloak. I kind of favor Dehi here. I think Dehi has a better shot. That Miracle Leaf actually is really, really strong. Alright, so we're gonna start with Leafy. Look at this. What? That was 210 damage, guys, with one energy. This Ronin should kill. Oh, so close. Almost, wow. almost there, almost there. This is this is getting really close. What's the draw here? Alright, we have little peace and are we gonna heal here? Are we gonna defend? Okay, yep. Nearly mm -hmm. decides to defend. He wants to put more leaves on the back line, right? Because it's um a leaf cloak XE. The more leaves you have on the leaf cloak, the lesser damage it takes. So he's yep. gonna save the beach for a later usage. However, here, wait, is that enough? One, two. Okay, that's a lot of damage. I think he wants to heal up. Yep, puppy, go back up. More shields. Oh, but he, oh, and he went to four amazing. energy too. He actually didn't keep. He actually didn't keep. He went to four energy. And he's on reset. So he is actually gonna play four energy here, I think. I think that he got this. Yeah. Unless he bottom decks Ronin or Leafy. What does he draw here? Oh, he does draw the. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, yep, that's more it's than super enough. enough. It's more than enough. Yeah. GG, D high. Amazing. With the running, how much damage? 116 because of the rune of the Bagaxi, but yeah, D high 2. Excellent. Perfect. Ooh, that Axi, man, that 1v2. No set. No set. No set. Easy. Mm. Yep, but yeah, Incredible. Miracle Leaf showing how strong it is over there when <laughs> the first Leafy, do you remember? 210 damage. That was yeah, insane. that's uh, crazy. It was it was fast. I like this fast game because um, there was no sustain on any axi draft here. So in any axi pool, was sustained. So this game are doing pretty fast. I love sustain. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, I'm a okay. sustain lover. No, <laughs> bring, I, I I will bring back sustain. I will bring okay. back sustain. Watch me. I will bring back sustain. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here Perfect. first. I will bring sustain back. But yeah, but so uh, far these games have been really quick, so mm -hmm. perfect, perfect, perfect pacing. Yeah, Nerly is a fan of sustain also. He he managed to go to 100 to play in sustain, so yeah. Um, that's why he is not, I think, comfortable with aggressive team, but that's the team that he had, right? So let's go to game number three. Let's see if Nerly can recover of this or Bihar is going to make a sweep. So let's go to the game number three. Okay, All right. last so... stand, last wish, last wish on the back now. Okay. Interesting. So what do you think about last wish here? Mm, I think that because he has a Katail and puts the town, it will be okay damage when he dies on the shield. It's going to help. But, mm, yeah. I, this is a, a tough match. I, I think Dihai could win this one again. Only because he has like two leafies, the other one has one, has that dual blade that he hasn't used it yet uh, on any match, the dual blade of the mid. But yeah, now he enters a rage mode, uh, Nerly. Let's see if he is going to do something good because he only could do the binge and, and the running. And it's going to be not, I think not because of the run. Oh, yeah. so close. Ah. Uh Ah, oh, that's so close. Did he do anything wrong early on? I don't think so, right? Oh, that was just so close. So unlucky. But yeah, however, Leafy here is still gonna do a bit of damage. Uh, Dehi here just wants to get a bit more value out of the front before it dies. So that's nice. Uh, good news is I think his Rage Axie is not gonna die this time, right? And even though it died the previous game, he still won. So Ooh. Dehi, I think, is in a really, really good spot. Yeah, so Ronin here just to kill the front. Bleed this... Not too bad, not too bad. And then Papi for heal, yeah. Nearly going for the defense here. However, Rage is coming in. We have a Shrimp, we have a Cottontail. We have almost everything. Shrimp Ooh, going to the stall. Yep. And then we're gonna Cotton here, probably. Just to remove the bleed first. There we go, good ordering. Ronin from whichever Axie should kill. So yeah, just gonna do Ronin from the back and then Ronin there, double kill. Clean, so clean. That's so GG. Clean. That's the way yeah, back. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, he knows. Yep, nearly done. 
What a sweep from Dehi! Wow, what incredible match. So Dehi going to the finals. Congrats, what a great player. Congrats nearly also because he has reached so far in this tournament. Uh, their team, his team was very, very good. But Dehi right now with Leafy is doing an amazing job. So we're going to the final, guys. Wow, I, I'm very happy about this Axi of Season Invitational. It's because the people that are participating are core members that are creating content about Axie, are streaming, are always um, active in the ecosystem. And that's why we are, are very happy about this. So we're going, we're going to a, a five minute break and we're not going to the final yet. First, we're going to see who is going to be third place on this tournament. So we'll be right back in five minutes. Our team has been working on this product for over three years. This is their love. There's a lot of people who put a lot of hours and like just love into this product and they really care about the game itself and the choices that we make as a company by trying to make sure we're doing the best choices for their work. So when we first wanted to look for a partner, we really wanted to make sure that the team can trust us and that we're putting this in the good hands with the right partner. Second, we really wanted to find a partner that understood actually how to make games. There's a lot of partners out there that have never made a game before, and they don't really stand the challenges that a studio faces in terms of development, community growth, user acquisition, all the things you need to do to make a game successful. So we started looking and we really kind of saw Sky Mavis had a lot of potential to kind of fill these boxes that we thought were really important for us. And the good news is when we started talking to Sky Mavis, it was even better than we thought. As we started talking to them, we really saw that the questions they even asked us was really community focused and product focused and quality focused and it's fun. And so they were actually questioning us, making sure the things that we cared about, we cared about too. And that really let us kind of see that we were very aligned in terms of what we saw matter for a product. And the longer we had conversations, the more we built the relationship up and really talked about the future, what we could do, it was very clear that this was the best partner for Directive Games and the best partner for Machines Arena. Why we're making Machines Arena is even more important than the game itself or the genre. And the story behind it is pretty fun. We, we were kind of having a break in our schedule in 2020. We had a two week little gap in our schedule and we did what game developers do. You, you don't take a break. You talk about all the other games you would like to make. Why is it fun? What would you want to do? And so we just gave like a vision to the team and say, hey, you got two weeks, let's see it. And the team worked on a small team, they put together a prototype, and then we did a company-wide playtest. And what we saw is everyone was laughing, they were trash-talking each other, they were having fun, they wanted to play at lunch. Even though all these aspects of the game were just placeholder, people enjoyed it. And that gave us a lot of conviction. And those kind of core things that were important to us there is still shown in the game today, those values from three years ago. And this is why I said this product is very important to the company because it's a pure passion project of the team who wanted this and came together for it. We, we definitely fell in love with Axie when we looked at the community. And I think that's like a really critical thing that people don't really realize. Like your community is your reflection of your own values. And what we saw from, you know, Axie's giant birth and growth through issues and troubles, but always coming out of it stronger and their community sticking with them, really showed the underlying values of Sky Mavis and Ronin. And that really inspired us. That really saw like, wow, this is a company that really stucks with this community, they really proved to them like, hey, believe in us. And as we had those conversations with Sky Mavis and we really saw those values come through in their talks with us, this really wanted us to be a part of it. We really wanted to be part of this Axie community. And we're so excited to be starting to show the Machines Arena to the community, get them a chance, start playing with us, just have fun, and see that we kind of share those similar values that Sky Mavis has. Axie Infinity Homeland Season 3 is live. Season 3 will last for exactly 5 weeks and has a total of 5,000 AXS on the line. But the most exciting part is the introduction of the brand new feature, Spy X Ragoon's Attack. 
The spy feature adds a whole new element of mind games and competition. By infiltrating other people's plots, scouting out their adventurers, and even sending in your own spies to pose as the enemy and steal their battle points. But be careful, you might have some spies hiding on your plot as well. Now this is extremely exciting, but it is far from the only addition Season 3 has to offer. There is also a brand new land management tool. This tab allows you to instantly view all of the land plots within your possession and switch between them seamlessly. With this new addition, managing multiple plots has never been so simple. It is incredibly easy to switch your plot, send your axes off to work, and move on to the next one. But, of course, if you find yourself struggling to manage your different plots, you can always choose to delegate a plot. Delegating a plot of land is a great way to relieve yourself of some of the pressures of the daily grind, as well as allowing non-land owners a chance to play Axie Homeland. Managing your different delegations is incredibly simple and is directly built into app.axie. You can do it all from the same account. It's time to start building your Lunassian Empire. Or, if you're hoping to try Homeland for the first time, make sure to join the Axie Discord server to get more connected with different landowners. Good luck for Season 3, my friends and fellow Lunassians. I'll see you in the...
We are back, ladies and gentlemen, on this off-season invitational. We are going to the third place match between Nerli and our friend Arenzi also. So this is going to be a fun match because both of them has proved that they are very strong here on this tournament with the axes that they have been provided thanks to Loot Rush. And we are seeing these, these two compositions that one are uh, uh, super aggressive, the other one is punch, um, some rage. Uh, also the rage is doing a magnificent job right now. RMC has little all over there, but he didn't use it at all. So Sekinox, in this match, who do you think has a little bit advantage between these two players? Well, I think it's a tough call, but um, in terms of aggressive match, I feel like Nearly has a better chance. I, I think his comp is a bit more well-rounded, right? He has a bit better defense, uh, whereas Ramsey is more like just all out attack. And I'm a very strong believer that if you manage to defend a bit here and there, you should be in a better spot. So yeah, so I, I think I think Nearly has a smaller edge. Uh, I might be wrong. But so far, I like what Nearly has been playing. Like, the, mm -hmm. like these players, they have mostly been using the Endless Anger. It feels like a support unit, right? It's really just there to give you that extra energy to work with. So, um, however, at the end of the day, I think both of them are going to play very similar stuff. Right? It's just going to be the plants um, and taunts, being able to protect the beast, getting a good rage turn. So let's see how these two players set it up. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's gonna be a nice, quick series again, in my opinion. Everyone's gonna go bam, 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 yeah. and then XEs are gonna die really quickly. Yeah, exactly, totally. So if we are ready with the game one, because I, I'm excited about this, who will win? At MC, a nearly, nearly that. It's a sustained player, but now he has to play with an aggressive team. So let's go to the first match on this best of five. Third place, aha, uh -huh. RMC doing aggressive, and of course, um, nearly with the same team that he has been using. I think the bad doesn't have any room. Oh, oh no. my god! Oh no, Mr. Nearly, that is not a mistake you want to see. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. Invisible. That's unlucky. That's unlucky, but then I've seen sometimes without a rune, you still win anyway. So we'll see if the cards are in his favor. But that is well, very, very unfortunate. Yeah, yeah so, so piece of it. advice. Yeah, piece of advice for players playing in the buy-in brawl tomorrow. Always check your runes and charms before entering a game. Okay, always make sure double check, triple check. Because, yeah, as you can see, you know, we are just going to continue the game. It's a player mistake. We are not going to restart. So, please be careful tomorrow. Right, I know a lot of players are going to be playing tomorrow. Just be a bit careful and double check. If you want to forget a rune, make sure you forget it when you're playing against me, okay? Thanks. <laughs> Perfect. So, uh, well, that Axie hasn't provided any, like, a good value to their team because he, he didn't have any rune, but that's okay. As you said, maybe we see a miracle uh, and <laughs> nearly wins yeah. some way or another because he's going after the Aqua Axie of RMC right now that has the last last wish so it's going to do damage protect but this is the turn for the rage my friends so the rage that means that he can ko the back axi with tiny dino Odin. he refers to use tiny dino and obviously the run is because he's going to use the cotton tail ah uh, this Amazing. i think it's a kill is it a kill oh okay two to seven okay not too much if we're vulnerable it'll be a kill but wow that was scary and now it's uh, nearly stunned to rage, but starting off with 99 damage, not too fantastic. Okay, Pocky at least kills. That's nice. We are going to do little branch and Ronin. Oh no, we are going to go tiny dino, sword Ronin. Okay, maybe this kills instead of the other way. Does this kill? Oh ah, no. no, it doesn't kill. But yeah, that would have been more damage than the little branch. Eh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eh, not looking good. Yep, sword. We're gonna go for a little piece and then confident on the back. Max damage believer incoming. That is a lot of damage. Yep. Wow. Yeah, so Nerly is in a tough position. Uh, he has a very good card in hand, has the Axie Kiss also. So, uh, Leader Branch, but if he used Leader Branch, that's a problem that the stack of rage 
it means that you receive more damage also. So that's why he didn't want to use it right now. Okay, um, never mind. Wow, very good, very good cards from Arens right now. So this is a GG. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. Like I said, really quick, really fast games, you know. But of course, that was a bit unlucky on nearly side. He did not equip a rune. So he kind of gave away a free game. But, you know, hopefully he can come back stronger. You know, equip that rune. Equip that rune and start climbing it back. Run it back. Let's go. We can do it. Yeah, he can do it. So, yeah, let's go to, to the second match. I'm, I'm very hyped for this. Uh, I, I'm thinking which rune does nearly needs to that back plant to be the like the most value, right? Mm. That's yeah. the answer. Let's see. And he's using his Ooh. favorite. Going back to Rise and Ruin. Interesting. Okay. Not too sure about what this Rise and Ruin does in this matchup, but I hope to be proven wrong, right? Maybe removing Vulnerable is very good. So let's see. We're going to get the Innocent Lamb, fetch, an, fetch a Confident for next turn, and then we're going to Axie Kiss and just gonna play Ronin, okay. Yep, like you know, we've seen in the past, he likes to keep the Ronin, but over here, he decides to just see cards and just go for it. So Ramsey drawing that early uh, card, actually not choosing not to Cactus here, very interesting. I mean, I think that's because he has, he sees, you know, that's really the death mark, he doesn't want the mid to be too unhealthy. So okay. yeah. So a little branch here, raging. Oh, this is a bit too early though, I think. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah, that that was a bit too early. It felt like a bad rage. Yeah, two energies only and with a raid three and no good cards. So, yeah, I didn't see. It looks like he got this under control. Let's see if he managed to kill that Aqua right now, Mr. Nerly. He mm -hmm. puts that town to the back. Very good. Very interesting with uh, Katail. Now we see two energies. This is going to be enough. Think that with a tiny dino or... Well, Pocky also killed him. Perfect. And and the running to the... Oh no, mm. he didn't kill him. But running, yes. I'm not sure if I like that because I think the Tiny Dino would have killed it already. Mm -hmm. So that felt like a waste of energy. But maybe he thinks his friend might die this turn. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. So uh, Raging here, pretty nice turn. Kills the pack. Unfortunately, does not get the Cotton Tail. Just gonna keep the Believer. And yeah, there's actually a chance that Nearly can rage again. And he's actually gonna rage again. That little piece, rage. Wow. Nice exit kiss. Um, Tiny Dino will kill. Nyan should kill too. Yep. And then Dino to finish it up. Oof. Actually Ooh. raging twice. That's insane. And with the sleep again. The forest breath with the sleep. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, point. that's so sad. Yeah, he has to use one card to wake up, use the sword, and then the running to get the kill. But right now, things look good for, for Nerly, he has almost full HP. And for revenge, but at least a little branch. So that means that he puts shields, he knows that with one sword is going to happen much. So I yeah, didn't see li good cards, little piece, he can do the little branch. He has Tiny One Dino off. retain it. Yeah. Okay, Almost raged. It. Almost. Almost raged. That was scary. But yeah, I think that's over. Exekiss. We can do the Forest Breath. Whatever card here kills. Yep. Very nice. Alright. Nice. Bringing yeah. it back. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Perfect. So, nearly now, with the rune, makes the difference now he has that at least one rune right because the first game he was like he forgot because he has changing constantly to the plant uh, especially so we're going to see we're going to see if he, the, the, both of them stick into the same co teams compositions they change many position but that, i don't think so both of them are using rage rage is always like a part of axi audience i think at least on one era uh, rage it's it's super good so um game number three is it ready we are ready and yeah let's go yep so, like, i mean rage disappeared for i think maybe two seasons kind of okay not really because topaz there was a version of topaz with endless anger but seems like now it might be back in a stronger way oh no this leafy does not feel good 
So yeah, Ooh. kind of a sad draw for nearly over there. Let's see what a Ramsey draws here. A Ramsey's draws is oh a little bit better. I mean it's a bit too early, maybe he actually can rage now. So I think now nah, we're gonna remove the vulnerable there. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it more than raging. So keeps that little branch so that he can use it next time when he rages. Executes to start off the fight. And then probably go for a Nyan to bleed the front. Ah, that's really okay. That's really decent. And then Rage now for Ramsey. I think he'll be able to kill the front actually, which is really nice. We're gonna start with a little branch. Ooh, Ooh the vulnerable and the death front. Nasty damage over there. Are we gonna play an emo here? Just take 15 more damage? Yes, just to banish. Why not? Keep a card here. Pretty nice. Ooh, that was that was pain. Are we gonna rage here? Oh, that's unlucky, but he did draw the cattail, which is okay. Oh, he's actually raging now. That's Okay, okay, at least he killed. That's not bad. Cause I was thinking he could have kept the cards for next turn to rage for a better rage, but Alright, alright. Ramsey yeah, now deciding nice. to taunt. Okay, initial the cactus. Now the hero, the hero card, he doesn't have player um in a lot of games. Now he's using it and he got the axe keys. Okay, he used it, he can now use the cotton tail. And if he wants the believer, and I think it's going to be enough damage it is. for that, yeah. Oh, oh it's no, not, it's, not, it's not vulnerable. Wow. Yeah, it's so it was only 126. Yeah. Alright, so let's see. Okay, we do have a forest cleanser, which is pretty nice. Puppy will heal the back. And now we have a leafy, 120 damage. That's actually not bad. However, it's not enough. And I think he'll play the forest rough here. Yeah, just to see an XE. Forest breath, I mean, that was breath. That was a zero cost card. So a Ramsey stun over here. Did not even draw any attacks on the plant that was slapped. So it didn't matter. Even if it did, the confidence would have woken up anyway, so that's nice. Opting to use the sword here, keeping the tiny dino for future usage. RMZ looking really good, looking in a good spot. Looking in a good spot. Oh, oh, this is interesting though. So we are gonna use Axie Kiss and then we are gonna Ronin. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice damage, nice damage uh, from Nerly. But at MC right now, I think he's going oh, to draw GG. a very good draw. Yeah, yep, very, GG. very good draw. He enters in rage mode, has three energy. He can use that three magnificent cards. But yeah, that's Bam. a Gigi at MC. Let's go. 2-1. That was just boom. Man, all these rage comms actually raging twice every game. That's actually really interesting. I wasn't expecting to see, you know, um these beasts actually raging two times in the game mm -hmm. but okay so far looking decent quite interesting you know all these uh, I'm, I, also like the new charm right the new charm from the starter axis is so good with little branch like one little branch gives you five rage tags which is pretty insane Crazy. if you ask me yep yeah yeah the solid axis and now in on season five we're going to have new solid axis so that means new runes, new charms that we're going to see in the future. Um, there's a lot of theory crafting uh, about that. Uh, but what, what do you think about, you know, on the epic era or last season, this like beast, beast with this new rune of the, of the starter that gives him the nut crackers? Do you think it was unbalanced, that, that rune? I mean, yeah, definitely. Uh, Nutcracker and Glorious Main was so unbalanced last season. Yeah, it was so annoying to play against. Even when I was playing Sustain, I wasn't really winning all the time also. So that was how strong it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was just too much. I, I, I'm I, glad it's gone. I'm glad it's gone along with Topaz. I mean, it was strong to the point where Topaz wasn't really beating, beating it too. So that was how strong that comp was. The whole Glorious Main comp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. So let's go to the next game. We are ready. So at MC, it's about, it's about only one more win. And okay, Nerly now is in a poison with a plan in the bag with Guy, of course. And with this little pet that we have over there. So very nice oh. turn on RM, uh, of Nerly. Yeah, interesting, right? Very, very interesting here. Yeah, so we actually have poison now. Uh, mini poison, but I like it. Gaia's and Regenerator, really, really good runes. However, maybe Regenerator was better on the front. 
Well, see, we'll see, but he does draw the wall gecko, which is really nice. And also that clover. Gotta get a few leaves here and there. Pretty nice. Leaves are really strong right now, as we know. Uh, they give mm -hmm. shields even when you're full HP, so that's nice. So yeah, uh, Ramsey is just going to be attacking into that wall gecko unit, but let's start watching that reptile in the middle. It will go back to full health really soon. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's really almost full health. So that's really cool. However, okay, we're going to start with a chomp here, stunning the back, and then Confusion doing a bit of damage to the front and healing. So yeah, those new cards are really interesting. Um, You know, the cards that allow you to... Uh, do damage while defending at the same time. So that's nice. However, we are entering Rage here. Actually a really nice Rage turn for RMZ. Removing the sleep, starting with Hero. Ooh, oh, the what Ronin. a draw, the Ronin. But I don't think it's enough. Is it enough? It's not no. enough. Prehistoric Armor actually clutching it. Very nicely done. So nearly here with a nice uh, turn. Ooh, taunting. Nice, we are going to keep the front alive with the Cactus. And then more poisons applied. Nice. Yeah, nice, very nice. 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 Nearly uh, that cactus, it was very, very good right now. Uh, we're going to see the little piece in action to to that back axe to that plant. He's gaining more rage stacks and goldfish for some energy fragments, the clamshell, of course. And if he's going to use the cotton tail, yes, he is going to use it with the Ricky fish, right? Because Tiny Dino is not like on the most optimal. Uh, damage over here. So Nerly has a interesting hand, has uh, the poisons, the Gila. I don't think he's going to use the Gila at, at least right now, right? He 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 wants to retain it more turns. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the XC on the front is going to die, right? So he will not have a chance to use Gila. But I think more importantly, he does have to put poison stacks because there just wasn't enough poison stacks on the XCs. So this confident just gonna remove rage, uh, remove some stacks, but not the sleep. And wow, the front is actually still alive. It's actually still alive. Very nicely done for uh, nearly here. Wall gecko again. However, this wall gecko is a bit scary because it's wall gecko into rage. a rage turn. But he's actually oh, he has a shield, so maybe he'll be fine. Maybe he'll be fine. Yeah. But the good news is that he's Gila is still alive, so he can do more damage later. However, let's see the rage turn from a Ramsey here. Hitting into the midline. Pumpkin, tiny dino, and a Ronin should yep, just wipe that midline off the face of the game. Wow. Ooh, suddenly it just looks really bad for nearly right now though. Will he be able to do enough damage with these runes and charms? Probably gonna shoot up here. Yeah, just wants the front to stay out of life a bit more. 20 35 poison on the middle, 15 points on the back, 20, 21 on the front. No doubt, so it feels a bit underwhelming. However, that Skitty Spoon losing all the rage stacks is really nice. Death Mark, Believer should kill. Yeah. Ooh, wow, but look at that 56 damage across the board from the prehistoric armor. A lot is this of damage. enough? Okay, yeah. We, with a right, prehistoric, very attack. good. Because it was yeah. more than 40 that he has. So, yep. do apply a lot of damage. He can kill the Fronaxi. Let's see if he prefers to defend because the poison is going to kill it anyways. So, yep. wow, we're going to see double kill here with the poison. No, he has the, the shield. Well, yeah, double kill yep. and only one Axie left and no good cards. So that means that Nerly could win this one. That's impressive. That's great. He has the Sirius on his hand, the, the beast is on poison. So I think this guy's... Nearly, nearly half it, yeah. Is that enough damage? Oh, it is. It's actually enough with the two cost sword. Wow, that was so close. That was so Excellent. close, actually. Wow, that last part, I didn't realize actually nearly went to four energy. So, mm -hmm. you know, the pumpkin actually healed for 28, along with the 70 shield. Really nice. The prehistoric damage was so good, too. Yeah, that prehistoric did so much work. 56 damage across the board. That was like. 160 easily plus all the heals nice yeah. not bad not bad not bad that was a pretty cool comp also regenerator right the turn he wall get good and everything just came back oh that that was satisfying yeah 100 agree yeah we're having a very great third match uh third place match and still one game left so <laughs> let's find out who will win this third place in this off-season invitational let's go to the game final game of this series okay All again right. 
Perfect. And now they change team. They have here you regenerating the front prehistoric in the mid. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. He hurt me. But yeah, uh, we gotta run it back, kind of. Uh, you no, know, nearly running, going back to his roots. You no, know, my man nearly just enjoys playing something more defensive. He's about the defense life. He's not about the attacking life. However, Ramsey just gonna stick to his guns. You know, go for the really aggressive comp. Puts the death mark on the front, but next turn we are gonna see Regenerator doing some work. There we go, you know. Okay, get the confidence. Yeah, not too bad. But we are gonna remove the death mark here and heal for a bit. Ooh. Yeah. New Regenerator. Feels so good. Feels so good right now. Are we gonna poison here? We are gonna poison here. Probably gonna keep the small frill. He's actually choosing to keep the clover too. Interesting. Because last game he actually went to 4 energy, so I was wondering if he would want to save shards for that. But seems like uh nearly really likes the clover. Yeah. Yeah, it's because his enemy doesn't have like AoE attack, so the clover can save him like at least one energy for not hitting one axe of them. So um he has a lot of poison right now. He has three. I think the clover is, is a play, of course. So that way he's going to gain at least one leaf and one energy frenzy has to go to that clover 100 and in this turn that is in rage it was good because with three energies is it going to to kill that axi i don't it think enough? it's going it to is. be enough i think it is yeah with a cotton tail right cotton tail ronin yeah it should be more than mm. enough ah oh, man so sad the regenerator just died no <laughs> no my favorite ah uh, i i love that rune i love that rune but yeah uh however nearly here looking okay i guess he did initial the wall gecko there but this turn is gonna be a bit awkward he's just gonna go for full attacks here tiny turtle on the front too he does want to get rid of the bloodlust xe i think he knows the steel is too it too significant it's too good against poison right so he's going for the front so confident here, wow, this is looking so rough for nearly actually what happened this game. Look at that, he's actually gonna rage again! Wow! wow. Impressive. Wow, oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah. Now yeah. that that's it, that's it. So at MC win third place and early fourth place, congrats to both of them. The, these matches were like the finals because because it was so so amazing to see so congrats again Sekinox um very very good right this match was impressive for me uh I mean it's kind of sad because nearly didn't have a rune for the first game yeah so you know maybe if he had the rune things would have been different and also the last game I think Aramzi just drew really really well he just drew really really well so yeah it's kind of sad but I mean, we all know Nearly is a really good player. So I, I, I mean, top four in such a pool, still, still a really good job. Well done. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Uh, for the chat to know, they didn't choose the ten axes that were provided. It was all random. So it was um, what he get right the best with the axis that he got so that's it now we are going my friends finally this is going to be super exciting because the final is between the high versus big gabby that it's again best of five D high versus big gabby i'm scared about the the leafy team so let's let's find out that their axis but the leafy is oof, super strong right now <laughs> Yep, so um, I'm expecting to see Bubbles versus Leafy in this matchup. By the way, my predictions, not bad. Made it all the way to the finals, right? We have Gabby in the finals. We have uh, a Ramsey who got third. My Asia boy is doing it. But yeah, uh, it's mostly going to be Bubbles versus Leafy, I think. I Gabby might still be able to play his glorious main comp, right? Uh, there's still a chance. Uh, that comp is not that bad. It does have a confident, it does have um cotton tail, there's also little branches. So Gabby has two choices in my opinion. Whereas Dehi, I think, is really just only going to play the leafy. Yeah. So so it's gonna be up to the runes and charms, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Uh Dehi yeah. might want to run Rocket Stamp on the shrimp to try to snipe the Hoto unit, right? The Half of the Ocean unit. 
So we'll see. It's up to these players to really outsmart each other. Each other, but I feel we are just gonna mainly see Leafy versus Power of the Ocean. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So I think that the best axi on all the tournament is the Leafy Stream axi. It's like he can counter a lot of compositions, like a lot. Uh, your enemy is aggro. It doesn't matter. I target. That, that aggro unit. Your enemy is Sponge, okay? I target the hotel unit. It's like, has a lot of play right now, Dehi. So let's go to the first game of this final. Let's get into it. Dehi versus Big Gun. And there we go. Bubbles versus Leafy, as expected. All right, so however, Gabby, with not a very nice first turn, forced, forced to play an attack here, which is kind of sad, you know, not having Nemo. Whereas for Dehi, likewise for him, he, there, there, is, there is the rocket stem stream as we see. However, he did not draw any bamboo shoots, so both sides not having the best turn one draw. Alright, here Gabby with the Nemo, oh, but still having to play an attack. That really doesn't feel good at all. Really, really doesn't feel good. Okay, so that means that now Dehi is playing aggressive against the, the front axe, of course. Put some bleed to the... Aqua Axe with Big Gabi, and this is only his second turn for Dehai. So that means that Big Gabi, turn 5, 2 1 is also is going after the Nemos, calling the other Nemos. Now has the Sponge, 2 Sponge on his hand, that's a lot of bubbles. Is he going to ramp? Is he yep. going to do it? Yeah, he ramp it, and the next turn is going to be very good for Big Gabi. Let's find out Dehai how many leafies that he has so he can attack the Axe, but has a lot of shield. Very good thinking about Big Gabby about shielding the, the Hodo Aqua. Yep. Yep. So Dehi is actually really prepared for the bubble comp. As you saw, there are some Black Sages, right, to dispel bubbles on the Scarab, I think on the Dual Blade too. However, this turn, Gabby, yep, just gonna ramp up and then put more bubbles. And he's actually just gonna burst the bubbles right now because he knows he's afraid of the shrimp. So yeah, interesting play coming out from Gabby. Uh, gives Dehi an option to not kill the middle right now. Right, uh, Dehi, oh, but he's still gonna go for the middle. So a very good play from Gabby to, you know, just maximize whatever value he had from just now. And that's nice. However, is this gonna kill? Goda will enter Rage. Yeah, I think it's gonna kill. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So maybe with uh, Ronin into a Leafy Woo. Perfect, perfect, perfect sequencing right there. Spreading all the damage across the other Xe's too. So let's see if Gabby with this Bloodlust Xe can get there. He still has a lot of attacks remaining, right? So there is a chance. Ooh, three bubbles on the front. Bloodlust over there. Sword. Yeah, but the front did not have any attacks to proc the bubble, so it is getting a bit scary still. Yeah, that's right. Because if he exploded, it will be like the kill with only one energy. Well, that the stream is going to the back, little piece, and we have. Oh, it's a not enough. In. Oh, oh, it's not, not enough, enough. It's not enough. You know, this is so close, actually. This is so close. But the leaves. Oh my god, the leaves are healing so much too. The leaves are healing so much, and still no attack on the front. Still no attack on the front. However, Gabby here will be able to kill that EA Axie. However, yeah. Sure. yeah. Scary. This is scary. This is really scary right now. Both sides feeling the heat. Oh, but there's a lot of attacks on that back line. Oh, okay. I think that's over. I think that's enough. So we're probably Ooh. gonna do Leafy here. Oh Oof. yeah. And a Ronin. Yep. Kill the back. And wow, that was so I close actually. Did. That was so yeah. close, I think. Uh in my opinion, yeah. I think Debbie drew quite bad. I think I think his mm. starting hand was really bad. No Nemos. Yeah. So kind of rough, but as we saw how strong Leafy is, so much damage, yeah. so much so damage. So much, yeah, uh, I like it very much. Um, he is winning against everything, the poison, the, you know, the, the tournament, right? Poison, he's winning against a Sponge, everything, because with a stream, you can target anyone, especially if you put Rock Sam. So that was game one. Let's find out in game two. I think the one that can't make any change, it's our other friend Big Gabby. He can make a, a little bit of change, but Dehi is not going to change his team. He has like, for him, for the 10 axes that he, ha he got, is the best team that he 
can use right now. So let's go to game number two. Ready or not, we are going. Let's go. Let's go, chats, to that second match. Or, yeah, that's it. All right, so yeah, we are running it back bubbles again. Let's go. Uh, this time, much better draw. This draw I can live with, so nice. Yeah, and we're gonna keep the clear so that we get a better draw next turn. As for Dehi, still a pretty nice initial serious 100 damage. That's the newly buffed serious, by the way, for you guys. Yeah, so starting area resistance setup. Another sh decent draw, I would say. I think we will start off with clear first, maybe. Because you still want to ramp. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna clear here. Oh, he misplayed again. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gavi, he, if he, you know, with the Nemo, zero cost Nemo, fetch another mm -hmm. zero cost, he would have been able to reach energy burst. But yeah, that's a slight misplay over there. Unfortunate. Gonna initial again here and dual blade. Yeah, nothing to dispel, so that's nice. All right, yeah, so Gavi here, it. we are gonna defend again. Yeah, we're gonna defend again. Nemo and yeah, uh, imagine he had one more energy here. It's so unfortunate. We're gonna get clear here and now we are forced to attack with the Bloodlust. Not too bad. I mean, that's still a lot of damage. And yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, Bloodlust is very, very strong on this season 5. So, vulnerable first because he wants to do a lot of damage. That good up, it's, it's good to put like a, a Void card on your opponent deck. So he can have a bad draw later. Um, yep. And yeah, with two sponge, he is going to, to do the Nemo to put uh, this um, some shield. Uh, Ooh, wow. Good turn. Five, six, six. Is he going to explode? Yeah, yep, he yep, explode. Yep. But obviously not enough soon. So, but the next turn, Diha is entering rage mode and with a cotton tail. Wow. That's it. Mm, there we go. Change of plans. You know, instead of going for the Hoto XE, we are going for the Bloodlust XE because, like I said, the Bloodlust has way more damage, right? Way more damage. And yep, mm -hmm. another Leafy. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh. And I think the front's dead here too. Wow, a double kill. A very sweet double kill. This Hoto XE looking really alone right now. Might not mm -hmm. have enough ways to end the game, but okay. The show star is nice. At least we are using all energy here this turn, which is not bad. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Some really shield. close. Very, very good shielding. Um, and yeah, Papi uh, right there, if he needs more Leafy, but he has a lot, puts a, another good assault. That means two Void coming on the way. Some Blitz is always perfect. And then more Leafy, more yep. Leafs to damage. Yeah, yeah that... we are at a point where we just want to survive, so healing is better. Oh, this is not bad though. So this sponge actually will give a lot of bubbles. Oh, it's actually getting very close now. It's actually getting very close. I think. Oh, but this Risky Fish doesn't have any uh, rocket stamp, so it's going to be difficult to close the game. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what Gabby draws next turn. I think if he draws sponge, Risky Fish. Oh wait, no, he can't. He's not resetting. Never mind. Ignore me. So the sponge is possible. Yeah, that's a sponge and four range cards. Nah. So more shield. He needs to shield yeah. and that's it. He's not gonna survive. Yep. He's not yeah, gonna survive. Yeah, because Lika is going to, to draw the Leafy. Yeah. yeah. And that's it. Oof. How much damage is that? Do you, do 80 plus 70 plus 70. That that was 240 damage. Yeah. That that Leafy was 240 damage. Oh, rough one. Rough one, but I, yeah, I think Gabby misplayed a bit, right? He could have reached four energy one turn earlier if he made the correct mm -hmm. play. So, yeah, and kind of, kind of, kind of sketchy there. But Dehi he here, you know, showing to us how strong Leafy Shrimp is. The ability to, you know, target anything with the rocket stem and just wipe it out with the leaf. Oof, looking really hot right now. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, I like that th what you said that Mino has put in the chat Lonely Hoto you you said on the match Lonely Hoto it's like <laughs> it's very yeah. funny to mention it <laughs> Lonely Hoto perfect yep. so that means that the next match is decisive so if Dihai wins wins all the tournament but we can see that he can recover but with which with things do you think uh, some charms that he needs to change maybe the other team that he has 
I think it's very difficult against the Leafy, but we always expect a miracle uh, on the tournaments. We always expect that. So, mm. are you ready, second Oxy? Maybe it's the final match. Maybe. We don't know. Yeah, I'm ready. I mean, I just hope see... I mean, if Gabby plays a bit better, he might stand a better chance. We'll see, we'll see. So far, he hasn't been playing perfect for this series. But yeah, let's go. Might, may or may not be the final game, but either way, both these players are great. So, let's go. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Gabby is done with bubbles. He's like, okay, I'm out. And he has mm. gone into the EA comp now in, against the Leafy. So, both sides playing very, very fast comps. Both sides going for the full aggression. The Sirius doing 100 damage is actually insane. It's actually so much damage. But yeah, yeah, that's right. He used the dual blade because he doesn't have any other card. He prefers to retain the Ronin for the rage, obviously. And the Leafy is retaining itself with a charm. So that means that he's entering rage mode Big Gabby on the next turn. And he has a tiny dino already 100. So that's Ooh. pretty good for him. The, the Black Sage though. Yeah, Ooh, removing he, the rage next. Nice. Removing. Yeah. So no rage, no rage for him. I think that's good for. Oh, he's still gonna rage if he wants to. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. 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 Not bad. Not bad. So this should kill with the front Garo. Yup. Very nicely done. And then are we gonna do tiny dino? Bam. Ooh. That is actually so much damage. So much damage right now. However. Yeah. Okay. No shrimp. No shrimp for Dehi. No shrimp. No shrimp. The back line is safe. Mm -hmm. So Dehi opting to go for a more defensive play, wanting to heal first, and then, yeah, Ronin to finish it up. Pretty nice. What will Gabby draw here? He actually cannot do anything with this Cottontail. Mm -hmm. Right? Not enough shards. So yeah. we're gonna do Peace, Peace, and Raging Ronin. Not Ooh, oh! Wow! One HP! Wow. The Pure Instinct kicking in. The Pure Instinct actually doing the buff. What a nice buff over there. And now it's a 1v2. It's time for the mir It was what? Lonely Hoto now? No, it's Lonely Miracle Leaf. But this Leafy should be able to wipe out the backline Axie while this is getting a bit too close. This Axie that Gabby has remaining, will it have enough gas to finish it up? It does have a little branch, does have a Risky Beast. Ooh, what a nice Risky Beast initial over here. And then we're just gonna do little branch. And are we gonna cotton tail? No, we are not. We are gonna save it for next turn, and then we keep the confidence. Yep, good play. Okay. Is Very there nice. any way? Any way? No, he did not even draw the leafy. So we are gonna puppy here, heal up. Oh, that is a lot of heal though. That is a lot of heal. Yep. And then he wanting to keep the Ronin and Sirius in his hand because he wants to make sure to draw the leafy next turn. Is this enough? Is that rage? Ooh, Ooh. it's enough, right? Is that enough? Very good. Four, yeah. Little five, piece, six. little branch. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, it's enough, branch. it's enough. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. Yeah, little piece, and then we cotton tail little branch. GG. All right. Has to Big be enough. Big Gabby. Ooh. Big Gabby will win. back. Ray back with the rage. What a draw, though. What a draw after the scarab and then drawing the, both the confidence in that turn to be able to kill the front. Ooh. Wow, what a draw. But yeah, everyone's just trying to outspeed each other right now. Just gotta Excellent. go fast. Nice. Gotta go fast. Yeah, that, that was very, very uh, fun to watch. Especially that he changed the rune, right? Yeah, from the mid axi. So the other axi has more damage and it works. It works very good. So that's the value that he needed to rush his enemy. So very nice. 2 1. Uh, he's still alive. So the next match, it will be, I think, the same teams. Same teams in both sides. It's not no other teams here. Hmm. Yeah, but they might change the charms. So we'll see if they, he decides to change charms because he knows Gabby might not want to play bubbles anymore. So we'll see. Or maybe he likes his Black Sages against the Rage anyway. So yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things for both players to change if they want to. Let's see what they do next game. Yeah, that's right. So let's go to the next game. Oof. Okay. I'm ready. So, yeah, same teams, uh, same rooms from both sides. Um, and yeah, who starts? Big Gabby starts on turn one. Okay, that's yep. one thing we have to remember. So, he's putting a lot of leaves to his axis. The front axis has a lot of defense Ooh. because of the rooms, the leaf. 
can do the little piece risky beast, not bad. Yep, not bad, pretty good damage. Uh, next turn gonna rage again, unless we see a dispel coming out from Dehi. Will he? He does draw the- wow, he draws two dispels. Wow. Is he gonna- wow. Oh nah, no. that's crazy. Wow, that's actually insane. However, the little branch here oh, does not kill. Actually does not kill. This could be good or bad though. So if you think about it in a way, the good news is Gabby will have a better rage turn in future maybe. But the thing is he could have killed the front last turn. So it's hard mm -hmm. to say, it's hard to say. Of course, there is always the shrimp thread. So yeah, that was a very good draw for Dehi actually. That was actually a really good draw from Dehi. However, with this branch, he is still going to rage good kill over there. Like I said, you know, this might be even better, like a better, better rage turn. Will he be able to kill this? I think he can. Oh, wow. Tiny Dino Ronin. Is that? Is that? Yeah. What? A, oh, oh my wow. God. This is what I mentioned, right? Sometimes you don't even want to rage too early in potential of getting a better rage later on. And that is exactly what happened to Big Gabby. Over here, you know, Dehi backs to the wall, only has one XE left. It's even worse this time, it's 3v1. Okay, manages to bring it to a 2v1. But that Bloodlust XE looking really hot. Yeah, that's right. So it's in trouble, Dehi, right now. Um, <laughs> not the best draw that he has beat Gabi. Now he, he wants another Cotton Tail, maybe for some healing, or he knows that later he's going to use it, of course. And the sword. Ooh, Dehi. Yeah, okay. and vulnerable even increases sword damage. Now, if you if you noticed, it was 60 damage sword, so that was interesting. However, Dehi still has 10 leaves, is gonna heal a lot. Kills the front with the bamboo shoot, probably. Yep, good kill. Back down to a 1v1. Like I said, will this XE be able to close it out from Big Gabby? Will it be able to do it? What will he draw? Ooh, no. Oh, that's a really the nasty boys. draw. That is really nasty. That is such a nasty draw. We'll keep the confident. He just needs to survive this turn, but Dehi's Axie has so much damage actually. Leafy? Okay, we have the Leafy. Oh no, Ronin. I think if he had the Ronin, he would have been able to kill. So mm -hmm. instead, Dehi is going to defend once again. Or not, is that enough? <gasps> yeah, wow. That's actually enough. Wow, excellent. So Big Gabi is the... Winner in wow. Lehi. Congratulations, wow. Leafy boys. No, this is a Leafy, Leafy. Wow, no, this is. I have no words. The Leafy, he, he knew the exact damage that he can get. He knew the exact damage. So we're very happy. Uh, Lehi is the, the winner of this offseason invitational. That's impressive. And congrats to his opponent, of course. Big Gabby doing an amazing job that he managed to win at least one time. And uh, both of them, super pro players, they have enjoyed this tournament so much. We've, uh, every, everyone here, I think that we have seen how maybe the season five, the new mechanics, so we can learn about this. Uh, watching tournaments is the best way to know about the new mechanics because right now you can only use it on the eSports server. So that's it. Watching the, the new axis, how it goes, it's okay. A lot of rage, right, Sekinox? A lot of rage on the tournament itself. Yep. So I just want to say that this is only a small representation of what is possible in Season 5, right? Uh, I think there are more comps that are interesting that will be coming out in Season 5. Without Topaz around, um, it's going to be a lot more fun. So I hope everyone looks forward to it. I had a lot of fun casting this tournament, right? Even though the XEs were not the best. But, you know, the, I love how the players showcased some runes and, like, runes here and there. I believe everyone had a good look at bubbles today. Um, poisons, we saw poisons, we saw leafy, we saw some rage here and there. But yeah, so so it's gonna be a fun season coming up. And, yeah, of course, you know, just want to thank uh, Quest, you know, for making this happen. Thanks Loot Rush, you know, for providing the Axies. You know, thanks Axie, thanks E4E for making this possible. And thanks for having us, right? Um, tomorrow will be another exciting day for XE. It's gonna be a season five buy-in brawl. So, are you gonna play, Muke? Are you gonna try? Um, 
No, I, I'm not. You're not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not. But but I will watch the stream. Yeah, of course, because it's going to be exciting to 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 see, right? Who uh, enters this new tournament? I'm very hyped about that. I want to say thanks to Skate Mavis, to Content Creator Program, to Quest. It's been awesome to have this type of events on off season because we're having a lot of fun and especially we are learning, right? Learning the new mechanics of the next season. So thank you very much for, for everyone, to the chat, to all the community. We are strong together. So to the next tournament. Uh, thank you very much. See you next time. It was an honor, Sekinox. Um, it's an honor we'll see you. And now introducing the Atia's Blessing buff. This is a brand new feature on app.axi that allows you to earn additional moon shards and even 